Shit. I didn't say finish. You're not finished yet, and I was enjoying that. Well, they can't see what you're doing down there. To them, it just looks like I'm killing you, but... Fuck I'll let you finish next time, bro. Fuck Don't worry about it. I'm getting strangled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fucked up. I love it when I'm tied to the ground and fucking this chick is fucking putting her heel rail on my testicles. <laughs> I love it when the fucking heel goes into one of them. <laughs> yeah. Pulp. <laughs> <laughs> Cock ball torture. Oh, fuck. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Fucking love that shit, man. Okay, guys. Poke my eye out. <laughs> Stabby. <laughs> why is there another another fucking trailer? Dude, why is yeah. there another advertisement? Because it's advertisements, be? bro. So we're gonna do a reaction to Dante vs Bayonetta. I hope I said that right. Um, death battle. Yeah. <clears throat> A lot of people want to see this apparently, so. And, uh, fucking, I guess our internet is fucking garbage. So we're just gonna do this real quick. It's actually because there's like fucking 10 windows open of YouTube. And uh, they're all fucking using the internet connection, you know, close. so. Can I close them and then you'll just look at the list after? Pull them up? Like this list? Oh well, yeah, I can do that. I'm not talking about that one. Oh look, another advertisement at the end. And at the Middle. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I just play it. Okay. Let's do it. You're gonna be okay with that, Eddie? Yeah, it's gonna be a bit. Let's just rewind it to the beginning, though. Alright, guys. Sorry for that little delay. Yeah. <coughs> Here it's we two go. advertisements. I'm looking forward to that shit. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Angry Let's Video Game it. Nerd 2 Assimilation. Pre-order on Steam right now to save 10% and, and get the one. soundtrack free. I don't know much about the two, but I love the Death Battles. Two characters that could be anyone. For some action heroes, it's not enough to Ooh, just like save yeah. the world. <clears throat> They've got to look good doing it. Dante, the devil Fuck hunter, yeah, dude, I love and Dante. Bayonetta, the umbrella. I didn't know that's who they were talking about, man. Yeah. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death yeah, battle. <coughs> Quite possible the most sexiest. Take a walk man. down Slum Avenue, and you'll find all sorts of hangouts for the scum of the underworld. The Bullseye Bar, a random strip club, and even a rundown service shop called Devil May Cry. Hell yeah. But the services they're selling aren't like washing your car or fixing your plumbing. Oh no! <laughs> Long as you got the cash, this shop specializes in delivering demonic beatdowns. <laughs> Who's crazy enough to try making a living this way, you ask? His name is Dante. From the very beginning, Dante's life was always unusual. Born from the unholy union of a human mother and a demon father, Dante and his twin brother Virgil had their first supernatural encounter at the young age of eight. Yeah, see, his demon dad was a badass who single-handedly <laughs> conquered the underworld and imprisoned its demon emperor, Mundus. But after dad died, Mundus' minions felt brave enough to take some revenge by slaughtering his family, leaving Dante in order to right Bummer. Hate it when that happens. With his mother gone and his brother assumed dead, Dante was left with only one option. Become the ultimate demon hunter and perpetuate the cycle of vengeance. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the dangerous nature of his occupation, Dante always maintains yeah, that a carefree a spirit game. while dispatching devils of the underworld. It's part of his charm. Hell, when you've got abilities like Dante's, why not be a little cocky? <laughs> He's faster than the mortal eye can see, strong enough to grapple with the underworld's toughest demons, and straight up man enough to shake off being stabbed through the chest <laughs> like every goddamn day. That's thanks to his regenerative ability. In fact, all of that is made possible due to his demonic heritage, and made even more deadly by his plethora of weapons. His favorites being his dual pistols and enormous yeah. sword. Fuck yeah. Like any proud weapon owner, he gives his tools of destruction pet names. His guns, Ebony and Ivory, specialize in long-range shots and rapid-fire barrages, respectively. 
These hand cannons are so powerful, they can each obliterate demons in a single shot. <laughs> Rebellion is a large magical sword given to him by his pops, which can cut any demon down to size in the blink of an eye. He's also got his brother's sword, Yamato, which can cut through dimensions. Throughout his adventures, Dante also collected a wide assortment of additional weaponry called Devil Arms, physical manifestations of powerful demons he has defeated. Remember Mega Man? It, it's that, but on steroids. His armored Gilgamesh gauntlets increase his striking power, letting him shatter huge monoliths with a lethal one-inch punch. With Lucifer, the backpack, not the devil, Dante <laughs> basically throws infinite lightsabers. He's also got an electric guitar, which is literally electric. Ice-powered nunchucks, grenade launchers, shotguns, and I kid you not, a briefcase that can transform into 666 different weapons. <laughs> from a giant Beyblade to a flying turret gun. Like how he Where does he possibly keep all this stuff? Really, really deep pockets. Or perhaps it's one of his styles, abilities he's also acquired from defeating demon bosses. With doppelganger style, he can duplicate himself. With trickster style, he can teleport instantly. With Royal Guard style, he becomes a nigh impervious dreadnought, and he can even slow down time with the quick. Yeah, I'm not so sure how you would beat this guy. On a rare occasion, Dante feels he needs to get serious. He enters the Devil Trigger, a transformation which taps into his demonic heritage to unleash his true devil form. Devil Trigger dramatically increases his strength, speed, and healing power, and he can fly. Being so well armed, <laughs> Dante is more than capable of handling entire hordes of demons on his own, although this doesn't stop some of his allies from joining in from time to time. This includes Trish, a demon lady who occasionally fights alongside him, and happens to resemble his deceased mother. Talk about giving somebody an Oedipus complex. Hey, if I may quote an old family saying, if she's not directly related, she's safe to be dated. <laughs> what? Luckily, and quite surprisingly, that avenue was never explored. Thank God. Dante is a walking, talking, feet-achieving machine. One time, after getting impaled by four demons at once, he pushed one so hard it exploded and dropped a ceiling fan on the other three, all while eating a slice of pizza. Oh, and when their friends showed up, he challenged them to a game of billiards. <laughs> he won. Dante has run down the side of a building so fast he caught fire, similar to a spacecraft re-entering the atmosphere at approximately 17,000 miles per hour. And he's even capable of taking out others just as overpowered as himself. Like his brother Virgil, who was not dead, but evil. He stopped a colossal punch from this titanic monster without breaking a sweat, shrugged up bombardment by meteors, and eventually avenged his mother by defeating the demon Lord Mundus in space. You may be asking yourself, can anything stop this guy? Yes, right. Dante does have a limit to how much punishment he can take, but if there's anything that could take him down, it's his own cocky attitude. In the words of the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu, oh, yeah, there yeah. is no greater danger than underestimating your opponent. I'm gonna have to disagree with old Lao Tzu here. <laughs> the there's no greater yeah. danger than telling a woman those fans do in fact make her ass look fat. <laughs> and jackpot. <laughs> From the Angels of Paradiso to the Demons of Inferno, there is a name feared by both the light and the dark, and her name is Bayonetta. To any normal guy walking down the street, she may look like your average seven foot tall gargantuan <laughs> Amazon woman with good fashion sense, but Bayonetta is actually one of the last Umbra witches, a clan of mystics allied with demon kind. Named Cereza upon birth, she spent her early life growing up an outcast due to her parents being from rival clans. Her father, a Lumen Sage, and her mother, an Umbro Witch. See, the sages and witches had one rule to follow. Don't make babies with the opposite clan because, according to prophecy, it would bring on the destruction of the universe. So, naturally, it was only a matter of time before somebody couldn't keep it in their pants. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling out works every it, time, yeah. but the last time. You would know. With the pact now broken, war ensued between the two factions. In the end, only two witches survived, Cereza and her rival slash future friend, Jean. 
Hoping to prevent the apocalypse, Jean used a special dagger to seal away Cereza's memories and put her into a 500 year long coma. When Cereza woke up from her epic power nap, she took on her new name, Bayonetta, and set out to find her lost memories. Luckily for her, she had just the right weapon for the job. Her hair! As an Umbro witch, not only does her hair serve as her clothing, which I'm having a really hard time deciding whether or not that's hot, or just disgusting. <laughs> she can also use it to summon the demon Madama Butterfly to aid her in battle. This technique, the Wicked Weaves, creates portals for the giant demon to deliver devastating punches and kicks. Bayonetta can also walk on walls and ceilings with Witch Walk, and even transform into animals to fly, run super fast, and dodge attacks. But her most useful technique is Witch Time. By slowing down time itself, Bayonetta can dodge practically anything while unleashing a barrage of attacks. Bayonetta is basically a tall, sexy armory. She wields gauntlets called Durga, which attack with fire and electricity, a huge sight that rots the souls of its victims, and a friggin' lightsaber called Pillow Tongue. She has a bow that fires poison arrows, a chainsaw made of dragon scales, a massive hammer that can cause earthquakes with every strike, and even ice skates, which Attack with ice, obviously. But her most beloved weapons are her four pistol set called Love is Blue. Rather than swap between them like a normal person, she somehow manages to wield all of them at once by using not only her hands, but also her feet. How does that work? Does she have, like, some kind of weird thumbs on her ankles <laughs> yeah. or something? That would kind of detract from the hotness factor. <laughs> oh my god! She's covered in hair, and she uses her feet like hands. She's a monkey! <laughs> monkey witch! <laughs> monkey witch! I highly doubt that. She probably just uses some sort of magic. Speaking of magic, when Bayonetta wants to unleash her full potential, she triggers her Umbran Climax. <laughs> Which increases her strength and lets her summon Madama Butterfly's full unrestrained power. When fully unleashed, Madama Butterfly can shatter huge meteors by headbutting them. Uh, Climax. By herself, Bayonetta has pulled off some impressive feats. She's strong enough to kick military jets into the air, headbutt skyscrapers across the city, and even throw satellites with her legs in outer space. Oh, by the way, she can survive outer space. Using which time, she was able to defeat this thing in only a matter of real-time seconds. Even without which time, her reaction speed is astronomical. For example... When a Lumen Sage stopped time to position newly fired bullets about three feet behind her, she managed to not only turn and identify the incoming threat, but also dodge all 16 of them. Considering regular bullets travel around 2,500 feet per second, she must have pulled all that off in less than one thousandth of a second. <laughs> then there's that one time when she killed God. You know, by sending <laughs> and punching the creator's soul across the entire solar system into the sun. <laughs> Okay, obviously Bayonetta's feats and abilities are absolutely ridiculous, but she is sometimes rather inconsistent. Despite her reaction time, she's been caught off guard by enemies ranging from a half-god called Lobster, or something like that, and even a plant <laughs> monster that managed to grab her out of the air. But regardless of whatever weaknesses she may have, Bayonetta's achieved more than anyone could possibly imagine despite being 100% human. Wait, she <laughs> is human? <laughs> Alright, let's dance. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, we made another video game, and it sure would be swell if you buy it. The nerd is back for an all new adventure. Crush your enemies. Navigate new puzzles. Fucking helicopters! <laughs> Giant fucking alligators! <laughs> Fast fucking race cars! <laughs> fucking flaming tanuki bombs! <laughs> and lots more shit! Coming March 29th to PC and Mac Player now on Steam and Steam. get 10% off and the soundtrack free. But right now, it's time for a death battle! You don't know. I'm gonna say Dante. 
That's my guess. I'll go for a bayonet. Another wandering lost soul, I see. Wow. <laughs> lost? Yeah. Nah. I'm looking for something called a left eye. Care to give me a hand? Could be fun. <laughs> I see. But if you're looking for the left eye, that would either make you an angel. Or a team. Get back. <laughs> Fuck man, this is crazy. Take this. Come on, Dante. I'm rooting for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, dude. She is fucking you up. <laughs> What a disappointing finish. Fuck your head. Dante, bitch. That all you got, sister? <laughs> ah, looks like you're more of a man than I thought. Come on. <laughs> no touching. Oh, nice. What? Haven't used this in a while. Still got it. In the mud. <laughs> You're a naughty boy hitting a girl like that. Good job, kid. You need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> Now this is what I'm talking about. If you like that, you're going to love this. Oh, my God. Crazy. This is where we part ways, love. After you. Dante! <laughs> Come on, Trish. You missed. Oh, don't be a baby. Let's finish her off. Oh, that's not a fair fight now. Oh, there we go. Having some guy trouble? Not to worry. I've got this one handled. Wait, we're getting paid for this one, right? Come on. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Nice girls. <laughs> so what about the swords? Chaos! <laughs> Worst date ever. Yeah, they even lost their friends. Fuck yeah, that was think? sick. What happened to Trish and John? Are they still fighting? Well, I'll show you how I think it went down in my new show, DBX. Wait, what? <laughs> Did you actually do analysis on your own? <laughs> Hell no. I'm just going to make them fight. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> and what actually matters, it's true that Bayonetta's satellite-throwing feet trumps any and all of Dante's physical displays of strength. However, Dante edges out in every other category. His arsenal matched and exceeded Bayonetta's blow for blow. Hell, even a giant demon like Madama Butterfly is nothing new to this demon slayer for hire. But most of all, Bayonetta didn't have many ways to actually kill him. I mean, the dude shrugs out mortal wounds every yeah. day like they were nothing more than bug bites. Both can take a bullet, but unlike Dante, when Bayonetta's stabbed, it hurts. That's why avoiding attacks was her specialty. But she could only dodge for so long against somebody like Dante. Early in their careers, Dante and Virgil obliterated each and every raindrop within a 12-foot radius, oh, briefly creating Jesus. a completely open space in a rainstorm. Up to 30 raindrops can occupy a cubic foot on average, meaning they destroyed 108,000 raindrops in less than a second. <laughs> Without any extra abilities or styles, even with Bayonetta's absurd reaction speed, Dante striking so much space in so little time far outclasses anything she has ever had to avoid. Even when she tried avoiding him, with which time Dante's Quicksilver even the playing field, basically making it useless. It was just a matter of time before Bayonetta suffered the fatal blow. Well, you know what they say, hair today, gone tomorrow. The winner is Dante. Fuck yeah. That was a fucking awesome battle. That was, that was so <laughs> sick. Next time on Death Battle. I want to say. I might start doing reactions to all these battles, man. I love this shit. Hey everybody, I'm Chad. I play Boomstick. Oh, I'm Ben. I play Wiz. And thank you for joining us for the pro controls. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Dude. That was ridiculous. Like, damn, dude. Yeah, um, I highly enjoyed that. And I'm so fucking happy Dante. Yeah, no, I seriously thought Dante actually lost. It's like, they're both like right up to each other and all of a sudden you hear Dante go oh. or whatever happened and all of a sudden I was just like yeah I thought he lost the first I was like yeah. what the fuck and all of a sudden showed her but then he just walks away with the sword in him fucking yeah. <laughs> she's got a sword in her and she like fucking died he's just like he has a sword in <laughs> himself and he decides to kill her and he's like oh that was awesome fine. man so this one was for Sir Beat Down my buddy Bit Sir Victor. Sir Beat Down should be down or Victor, and I swear so, to God, I'd fucking kill all these mistakes. Right? Fucking hell. So, yeah, again, you guys want to see me and Ricky punch each other in the balls? I told him I'll take the first hit. Let us know. I don't like this. I don't like it. I'll you take the first hit. You guys honestly don't have to answer. Yeah, you do. You guys yeah, you do. don't. Like, yeah, you do. seriously? You already know they're going to say yes. They're going to be like, fuck deep, yeah. Secretly deep down, you guys are going to be like, 
He'll let me do it. I don't want to see that. Because I'll let him do it. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I don't see what are you that. looking at, I don't dude? want to put Rick That's through the pain. I don't want to see that. See They're going to be like, fuck yeah, hurt each other. See that. <laughs> All right, for Victor, sir, beat that. Right. We love you guys. We'll see you soon. Damn Peace. Right. Subscribe, motherfuckers. Subscribe, motherfuckers.